Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how do we merge different data sets. So let's just say we have this data set of leverage. So this is uh, balance sheet data, right? So we have from uh, different firms and uh, data for different time periods. So we have a panel data set. We have this single variable of leverage but we want to add more variables uh, in columns, right? We want to merge more variables. We want to da add data of different variables so we can perform our analysis. A previous video, we, we, we saw an, uh, a command by the name of append. That command is used to add extra uh, rows or observations. Um, so, so if we wanted to extend our data set, we would use append, but if we wanted to add more variables or more columns of data, then we would use the merge command. So in this video, we are going to discuss the merge command. So here we have this leverage data set, and then we have this inflation data where we have inflation for year 2009, 10, 11, 12, and 13. What we want to do is let's go back to the leverage data. Let's close this one. What we want to do is we we want to bring the inflation data for each year uh, in front of each firm. So inflation for 2011 for firm one would be same for 2011 firm two, right? and 2011 from number three or four, right? So the inflation values would repeat year wise. So the, the identifier, the common identifier between these two files is the year variable, right? It isn't the sum, symbol code or the leverage variable, but it is the year variable which will be used to, to combine these two files. So we, we can use uh, the merge command or we can simply go to data, then click on combine data set. Then we click on merge two data sets. Here we have different options. We can merge one to one on key variable, many to one, and we will discuss it in a while. For now, what we have is we have two kinds of data sets. One is called the master data set and the second is the using data set. The master data set is the file that is currently open or the data that is currently loaded in the status memory. So in this case, we have this leverage data loaded in our stata memory. So this is our master file. Okay, so in master file, we have different years, right? Uh, the years is repeated multiple times. So there are many years for the single year in the using file. So let me explain this. In, in leverage file, in the master file, we have 2011 being repeated for different firms. But in using file, we have 2011 uh, as a single observation. It isn't repeated multiple times. So we would use many to one. So that means for many observation in master file, we have a single observation in data file, uh, in using file. The key variable, which will be the matching variable, which will be used to match the two data sets in our case would be the year variable. We can use multiple variables. We would select the file name. Uh, the file is in example one. This is the inflation file. We select this. Then we move toward the option tab. We can select variable which you want to merge, but in this case, we would have to use first the populate option. So we want to just import the inflation variable. If there were multiple variables and you didn't want it to import all the variables data, you would just select the variable that is of interest. If you leave this empty, it would import all the variables. Let's click OK. It has merged the variables, the data. Let's look at data. So remember in 2011, the inflation was uh, 0.15, right? If so, the, the, the value of inflation is same for 2011. Then for 2012, we had inflation of 11%. For 13, it was 8%. 
so so you have got the idea that for all the years uh, so for 2013 it was a single observation in inflation file but there were multiple observations in the leave file in our master file but it has uh, nicely uh, combined all the data together so let's in read this uh, this results that is generated what this means is that uh, there were total of uh, 1169 observations that were matched that were there both in the in the using file and in the master file in both the data sets there were some observations that didn't match there are 398 observations that didn't match out of these 398 observations 396 observations were available in master file but they were not available in the using file right and there were two observations that were available in master file but they were not available in uh, the uh, in the in the using file so let's again go back to the data remember match 3 there are code merge 3 is used for com where, where there is a perfect match both uh, the data were available in both the data sets so this is a perfect match and then we have this one which means that although this data was available in master file but we didn't had any observation inflation observation for year 2014 so this data is only available in master uh, file and then we have this using only that means for year 2009 and 10 there were inflation values available in the using file in the inflation file but there was no data in the master file we can also let's just say if you wanted to drop all the variables or values or if you wanted to keep only the variables where the data was available in both the file then we would uh, we would use this command keep if this merge variable is have the value of 3 so it would drop the 398 observations that didn't match this was a simple example let's move to to another example in this case we have data of uh, two different variables right uh, both files have parallel data but they of they are of different variables so in previously we had the data for leverage variable in this uh, file we have data for return on assets variable we want to combine these two variables we would again go to data combine data set merge two data sets now we have to choose uh, a type of merge so in this case for each firm and each year there is a single value of leverage and the same is the case with the ROA for each firm each year there is a single value of return of equity ROA so that means for each one observation the in master file we have a single observation we have a one observation in the using file so we would use one to one uh, type of match in this case instead of single variable uh, as an identifier we would use two variable as identifier we want that uh, if, if you are going to import data from ROA file so we need to import it for the same firm and for same year let's choose the file name it's ROA then we go to the options we just import ROA there are other options if instead of generating the merge uh, variable we we wanted some other name we can give it another name right or we can simply check the, this box and it would not generate any uh, variable new variable then we can ask it to not to copy labels or notes or update the missing file or missing values only or we want it not to display the results summary right and then there is results tab where we could uh, only keep the the record that appeared in master file or using file or both file remember in previous uh, few minutes back we 
we deleted the observation that were not available in master or using file so we only kept the data that was available in both the files so this is the option that you can simply tick and rather than using a second command of uh, keep observations or drop observations okay let me merge this so luckily we didn't had any observations that didn't match so all the observations uh, in leverage file matched with the with the roi file let's do one more example now we have monthly data and yearly data this monthly data is of return data stock return data and this yearly is balance sheet data one that we have been experimenting with the leverage and the roi data let me open this monthly stock return data and let's view this data so we have data for each day right sorry it isn't monthly data rather it is yes it is monthly data last closing observation of each month but in the second file what we have is we have yearly annual report so in this file we have yearly data and in this file we have monthly data but we do not have a single identifier right we do have a simple identifier but how do we combine the years we cannot first we would have to generate the year variable so generate give the name of the variable use the function year and the year can be retrieved from this data variable press enter now we have generated this year variable now we can use these two identifiers to combine the data we click on data combine merge to data set now because we are a this is our master file we have re return of uh, stock return for different months so we have multiple observations for each single observation in our using file because in using file we have yearly data so for each firm we have uh, for each year we have a single observation but in case of master file where we have a stock return monthly stock return for each firm for each year we have 12 observations right so we have many observations for each single observations uh, from our uh, yeah, from our using file we select the identifier which is symbol sorry in this case rather than date because date is not available in our using file we should have an identifier which is available in both the file we would select the file and we want to just import the liquidity variable press ok it has imported the data uh, let's do it the other way around rather than importing the data in uh, monthly stock return file let's import it in the yearly annual report but first we need to save this uh, we need to generate year and save this file because i forgot to save this file so we generated this and let's save this file now let's open yearly annual report data click on data combined merge data set now we have to choose a different type of merge we have a single observation in our master file because master file is now the yearly annual report data file and for single observation in our master file we have many observations in the using file so we would select this observation so unique key for data in memory again we select symbol and year we select the file and press ok we see the same uh, results uh, let me give you one more idea so this would be used when we have many observation in our master file for for those many observations we have again many observations in the uh, in the using file this last option is used uh, it combines data without using any matching uh, variable or uh, unique identifier so now you would see that this uh, we cannot use this unique identifier uh, drop down menu what this would do is it would match a one to one or sequential observations so if there was uh, if uh, so the first observation the first observation in the using file will be matched will be copied 
uh, in front of the first observation in the master files so rather than using any identifier to match the observations it would simply match them using row numbers so i hope you have understood how to we how do we combine uh, data or different variables um, stay tuned to this channel do subscribe it and hit the bell icon so as soon as i would upload a video you would get a notification thanks for watching this video